Okay, guys. All right, so... So far, I've talked to you a little bit about the third dimension, but not a whole lot since we've come out of there. And although you've kind of got an idea, but the lower vibrations of third dimension are really the intense um, levels of intense fear, despondency, and we've pretty much left those. You have to bounce pretty hard out of the fourth dimension that we all are in now to get to those lower vibrations of third dimension. Now, it's pretty easy to bounce to the mid-range of 3D and up from fourth dimension where we are now. But as you move higher and higher vibratorily, it'll be harder and harder to access those vibrations. Now, I've avoided talking a great deal about the fourth dimension because I want you all to be safely headed towards the fifth dimension. Anybody who wants to be safe in that instruction on how to do that before we start talking a great deal about the fourth dimension because I don't want you sidetracked. I want you to really be focused on where you're going before I give out a lot of that detail. I've had to, I've, I have thrown out some fourth dimensional detail for those so I can give you some information for those people who I think might want to stay in fourth dimension and they should have enough data that they can make that assessment or at least begin to consider it. So we'll come back to that later on in the videos to come. Uh, I've got so much to tell you guys about that uh, I have to kind of decide which direction I'm going to go and what I'm going to talk about at any given time. So now we've pretty much got directions on how to get from here to, to 5D. But once you get into 5D and 5D proper, uh, no one is asked, but um, Earth is not the only one in the fifth dimension. So if you stay in time space and want to continue the dualistic game, there is a lot to do besides being on the planet Earth in, on that level, on that level of fifth dimension. Now, fifth dimension really is higher levels of what you would consider good, positive uh, vibrations of dualist in a, of a dualistic nature in the fifth dimension and beyond. And there are many levels if you stay within the time-space illusion. So, if you're not interested in what will be going on on Gaia, I wanted to let you guys know that once you get to the fifth dimension and get there really solid, and you look around and you're, you've got a good handle on it and staying put, not bouncing back down to 4D, which can rapidly pull you to 3D. And you look around and you go, oh, well, I kind of like this dualistic game. I want to play this dualistic game. And I like this time-space game, the illusion that's here, now that I've kind of remembered some of what, who I am or even all of who you are and you decide that you want to stay and play. Now there's a whole nother bunch of options that you are are given at this point. There's a lot of other planets and universes and galaxies and multiverses and layer upon layer of other beings that are still within the dualistic construct of this creation that are on that level. So at this point, you can jump around and talk to all kinds of aliens and visit all kinds of uh, planets. You can ride spaceships. You can beam me up Scotty. But if you're uh, aware in how you, can, you are good at keeping yourself vibratorily on this range, everything that's available, if uh, you don't particularly like what I've described, what's going to be here... Uh, on Gaia, uh, there will be many, many other options for you to go and experience in the fifth dimension outside of Gaia. Uh, Gaia's goal was to get to the fifth dimension. That is, was her goal, was to get out of the third and fourth in those lower, dense, vibratory states. And that is what, by the time you will have gotten to fifth dimension, she will be 100% in the fifth dimension and the job that you came to do will be complete. So you will be able to do whatever it is you would like to do at that point. So there's a whole bunch of 
new stuff that you will be able to experience and um, just kind of experiment with and move around through experiencing duality from a very positive standpoint and up until now your experience with duality has been pretty pretty rough it's been pretty tough those densities in the lower form is kind of a, a difference between bad and worse it's kind of where it stands and in the fifth dimension everything that's available will be in a very much higher realm of duality it'll be the difference between good and better so you all might want to consider that those of you who are kind of wanting to go to 5D and out of this game and a lot that is destructive and confusing a lot of that will be relieved in the fifth dimension and you will be able to consider a lot of options that you um, that you can't even think about right now that you don't even understand right now and as you get closer to the fifth dimension some of those might begin to open up for you but they will only open up for you when you are completely in control as a creator God of manifesting of controlling where your vibratory state is at all times moment to moment in the time space illusion when you get closer and closer then as these things always are done in a gradual way there'll be all kinds of new and exciting options be made available to you and then you will be you will see them um, as you get closer and closer to that ability to stay in that state whenever I told you that there will be aliens on the planet that you will be introduced to and you can communicate with those aliens are from other planets that are in the vibratory rate that I have called uh, the fifth dimension now they won't call it that because like I said at that stage from that fifth dimensional stage everything is identified vibratorily and things are not named with words that is the reason why you'll be able to communicate with all of them because you'll do it from a, a vibratory um, communication abilities rather than words so the whole language barrier becomes non-existent because everyone can communicate on that vibratory level so as you're on 5d and you're introduced to these aliens or they introduce themselves to you then you'll be able to make assessments whether or not you would like to go visit these other galaxies and these other multiverses all these different layers and as you learn all of these different things then those will made it be made available and you can pick and choose those of you that want to go back home what you consider home where you came from before here then you will continue to do what we have done all along and you until you can step outside of time space at which point well then you go wherever you want but if you aren't drawn severely to home there's not an intense um, <clears throat> calling for you to go back where you came from that there may just be a confusion about how this stuff runs and it's all wrong and and uh, it doesn't make any sense then there is a really good possibility that you might have done all of this <clears throat> to number one help Gaia and number two experience duality in the higher vibratory range and that is an absolute option and there are all kinds of cool places to go and visit on that level but to get to that stage you have to be able to do all the things that we've talked about already understand that you're a creator God you're responsible for creating everything control that vibratory state creationary process that you have at all times no matter what the circumstances around you and then you will understand how everything works and you'll be safe to interact in that fifth dimension and go out to all of these other places okay so that should add another little twist to the information that I give you so <clears throat> if you were to ask me to describe earth right now it would take a very very long time so I'm trying to describe and take in that information I'm trying to describe to you everything that is 
on a third dimensional plane, gradually to a fourth, gradually to a fifth and beyond in a very, very short period of time. So if I don't answer specific things um, all the time, it is because I'm trying to get through the data and hand it to as many people as I can so that they will have kind of a broad picture of how things are going to unfold so that you can make a decision on to where you, as to where you want to go. Um, and that's true with all dimensions, all everything within this creation and outside of this creation. Uh, there is no judgment from me as to anywhere that you want to go. I think they're all beautiful and glorious. I have my preference and it is not the lower vibrations of the dualistic creation of where we are right now. Uh, that doesn't mean to say that it's bad or worse and that you're going somewhere that's better. No, I, I don't say that. I will never say that. I am a very full of all kinds of admiration for the beings that come and do this. Like I've said before, what they are creating is stupendously adding to the all that is. And I'm very grateful for for their experience that they are giving to us all. But for those that are coming out of it, then I want you all to know about what you're looking at to make a decision go in the fourth dimension. Now we'll get a little bit more data about the fifth dimension and outside of time space and out of this creation as we go along in this uh, is the, in the information that I give you. And really a lot of this is just me going by instinct on what I say at any given time. So there you go. I just wanted to throw that little bit of data out there so you can mull it around in your heads. I'm feeling a lot of people going, well, what do I do here on earth? Maybe not so much interest here. And I just wanted to let you know that there will be a lot of other options. I will describe the way 5D Earth is, but it isn't the only option in the fifth dimension for you to experience and play. Okay? Alrighty then. Uh, huge hugs to everybody. I love you so much. And it's uh, way late, so I'm going to go to bed now. Good night, everybody. Have a great day tomorrow. I love you bunches. Bye now.